Okay, so let's jump into this video and start talking about our virtual volumetric efficiency and our VCM scanner. So in the last video, we took a look at the virtual VE and using the tables and calculating coefficients and how that process is gonna go. In this video, I'm actually gonna go through the virtual VE tuning process on a vehicle and use our VCM scanner. So we know how to set up a custom histogram so that we're able to populate the idle and part throttle driving areas of our virtual VE table. We're gonna have a lot to learn, so let's jump into the video so we can check all this out. Okay, so let's get started here. We're gonna be taking a look at working with our speed density in our VCM scanner. So we're gonna be creating a custom histogram in order to tune our speed density tables properly. Now, the example vehicle that we're using is a 2012 Yukon Denali. This has a 6.2 engine in it, and we're gonna find that this particular operating system is gonna allow us to do both the two bar enhanced operating system as well as the virtual VE. So we're gonna be taking a look at both tuning formats in this video and making custom histograms in our VCM scanner. So let's jump into our file here right now, and then we can see the files open here. Math recalibration is the name of this file. Now we took a look at this when we were doing our mass airflow sensor recalibration process under engine here. We went in here and we've updated the table for the colder intake that it had installed. So this has already been taken care of in this particular file right now. And we can see in the dynamic, I've moved my dynamic airflow really low. So we have it here at 100 RPM. Essentially when I crank the engine over, it's gonna be running on the mass airflow sensor right off the bat. So it's gonna be bypassing the map sensor completely. Now we wanna do the opposite so we can tune again this virtual VE. If we jump into the speed density, we'll find our coefficients and all of these zones here are gonna be just as we would find if we didn't have the enhanced operating system. We can see if we jump into our operating system, this has this two bar code that we can apply. I don't wanna do that yet. I wanna show you what this virtual VE is gonna look like. So we can start with that and then we can go and convert it over to a two bar operating system and take a look at the process with that in our VCM scanner and the histogram. So let's go here, let's close it. And let's jump in here now into our VCM scanner and let's set up some things here so we can scan this and, and take a look at things. So what we're gonna need to do here is make sure that we're logging some basic channels. Now we're logging our intake manifold pressure, which we need. We wanna make sure that we're logging our fuel trims, which we need. And we're also gonna be making sure that we're logging engine RPM, which we already have. Now we obviously have a whole bunch of other information in here and we can also see the mass airflow sensor state. We've added this when we were taking a look at this in the previous video. We can see it's in this situation, this log when we were playing here, no fail. Now, when we go and fault it out, it should go into the failed mode. So let's go and take a look at creating a custom histogram here for our virtual V, since that's what we were working with first in this particular operating system. So we're gonna go here into graph. I'm gonna go right click, I'm gonna go into graph layouts. Then we're gonna jump in here and go here to add graph, add table, and we can see it populates here. So the parameter we're gonna be adding in here is gonna be our long-term and short-term fuel trims. Now this 